I think I'll just share a few thoughts. We've already had sermons preached already. Gracious God, from whom we come and to whom we go, take now your servant, pour out your words through him that we all might be edified. Take our thoughts, our emotions, our actions, our very being, and make them acceptable in your sight. You who are our rock, our redeemer, our very life. In the name of the one who came to be the perfect sacrifice and who has given us the spirit, even Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. The emphasis for this Sunday really is the ascension, but Peter talks about suffering. And act sort of talks about the mission and Jesus coming back. And I just thought it would be all of those sort of talked about really looking homeward. You see, In a real sense, earth is not our home. We all long to go home. They keep sending me from the Board of Pension these reminders that I should prepare for retirement. And, you know, I sort of think about it every once in a while, and I say, well, where would I want to be? And it was very clear that I wanted to go back to North Carolina, 217 Jones Street, where I grew up. It's sort of empty now. And I thought that would be a good place to be. And then we got a grandchild. And the thinking becomes, do you really want to be that far away? And where will they be and how close can we get? So there is sort of a tug of the heart. Where is home? Is it where you sort of grew up and remembered? Or is it where those whom you love are? And as I thought about us, I thought that, you know, we were born in paradise. And I say paradise because it was without sin and God would come in the cool of the evening to talk, but God wasn't permanently there. So it wasn't heaven. It was a birthplace. It was a home where God could come and visit us until sin intervened and we were thrown out of paradise. We threw ourselves out and had to become stewards of a different world, a world where 
the first notable act was a murder. A brother killing a brother. And all of the other bad things that have gone along as we have moved away from the frequent visits of God to a point now where it seems there are points where we wonder if God is around. But of course we know God is around. We all experienced it this morning. There are points in our lives where God reminds us. Most of the time it is as individuals, but this morning it was as a family. We were reminded that when we are in love with one another, when we are in love with God, there is something special that happens. Yes. That there is no power on earth that can separate us when we let God come in and take hold and when we let God use it, the power of God in and through us. Amen. And we begin to understand what Augustine was talking about when he said that we were made for God and our hearts are restless until they rest in God. And that while we have to get through some stuff, and some of those things are very hurtful, some of those things cause us to pause, even those with great faith, and to wonder if God is around. I mean, Mother Teresa talked about her dark night of the soul and how she sometimes questioned. But God not only puts rainbows in the sky, God puts rainbows in our hearts. God speaks to our pain. God speaks to our suffering. And God doesn't give up on us. And God says through Jesus, look, the kingdom is near. Live in it now. Now, living in the kingdom now requires God's spirit. Because to forgive, I'm thinking about the man who met with the family of the young man who killed his son to help comfort them. That is living in the kingdom. To be able in your own grief to see the pain of others and to go and be with them in their pain and to say, it wasn't your fault. That's kingdom living. We are called to that type of living. We are called to say, there is something better that our creator has in mind for us, and I can live it today. I can live it because God has given me the Holy Spirit. And when I am weak, then God is strong in me. And when the storms of life are raging, 
I know who stands by me. I know who upholds me. I know who is my rock and my salvation. And I know that no matter what happens, I have a home. Eternal in the heavens, a house not built by hands. Now, we might sing the song, I'm sending up my lumber, but no, God has made this house. <laughs> and it will stand eternally. And it won't be paradise, it will be heaven because we will always be with the Lord. For that is what heaven is about. A new heaven and a new earth where there will be no separation, where we will always be in the presence of God, of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And there will always be joy. There will always be the countenance of God smiling upon us. And so we look homeward. We look to that time when we will not be separated from God, but we live it out now. For God has smiled on each and every one of us. God has set us free. God has smiled on us. God's been good to all of us. Amen.